The highly anticipated general elections are just now a few weeks away. And just before that, the Supreme Court of India has delivered a landmark decision reverberating through political landscape as it has struck down the controversial electoral bond scheme which enabled anonymous funding to political parties. The verdict, delivered by a bench comprising of Chief Justice D. Y. Chandrachur and Justices Sanjeev Khanna, B. R. Gawai, J. B. Pardiwala and Manoj Mishra sparked significant discourse on electoral transparency and accountability. Central to the judgment was the assertion that the electoral bond scheme is violating the fundamental right to information and poses a grave risk of quid pro quo arrangements. Chief Justice Chandrachur also emphasized the potential of financial support by electoral bonds to influence political decisions, highlighting the scheme's susceptibility to misuse. Moreover, the court underscored that curbing black money in politics cannot justify compromising citizens' right to information, emphasizing the importance of exploring alternative measures. The bench articulated several key observations during the proceedings, shedding light on nuances of the misuse and issue. Notably, they emphasized that not all political parties contribute to influence public policy. Contributions from various segments of society, including student and daily wage workers, underscores the multifaceted nature of the political funding. Furthermore, the court ordered the broader significance of right to information extending beyond state of affairs to encompass social, cultural and economic aspects, thus bolstering the principles of participatory democracy. The judgment received widespread acclaim with legal expert activists lauding the significance in safeguarding electoral integrity. Legal experts are hearing the decision as significant, asserting its potential to usher in long-term reforms in electoral democracy. The experts highlighted the court's univocal stance on striking down all provisions related to the electoral bond scheme, including those aimed in the Income Tax Act and Companies Act. The experts also emphasize that the ruling of firm citizens' right to transparency and political financing, a fundamental aspect of democratic governance. All in all, now all the political parties, irrespective of the ideology, whether it's Bharati Janta Party, Congress, Samajwadi Party or any other party, they all will have now to share from where they are receiving money, making it official to the public. As the nation grapples with evolving challenges in governance and accountability, the Supreme Court's verdict will stand as a testament to the enduring commitment to uphold democratic norms and promote transparency in electoral practices. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.